Hello and welcome. In this video, I will explain how the last project work, how the PID tuning work. Uh, we have using the Arduino Uno and the uh, this HMI for show uh, reading and set point and the LDR and the LED. So we have here set point and P and I and D for tuning. Okay. Now we have some reading and input. First one for set point, second one for input, third one for output. Here we have P and I and D. So there is some input because of the light in this room. I will give some set point. You can uh, watch this reading change. I give 140 and the reading 110. So there is a different must be output from LED. There is no output from LED because no P or I or D. So I will uh, give some integral. Okay, the LED illuminate. If I move up the set point, okay, the LED illuminate uh, higher or better than before. So, this is about the integral. In this case, if we use the proportional or derivative, that will Effect badly or our, on our closed loop. Why? Because our loop is very uh, fast. Our process. If we, if you need to set the PID tuning for valve, for level, for something real, that that time you need P and you need D. So in this case, because we have only the LED and the light is so fast, so if we use the proportional, okay, you can see the pulsing. So there is a rebel of our uh, in our. A project or in our closed loop you can see the ripple okay so uh, that's a problem I will reduce to zero and if we use the derivative you see the LED illuminate directly because the derivative for uh, uh, we used in real life for temperature so it's not the temperature it's the light light so fast okay this is about the third project you must read about PID and then you can play around with this project so I will explain the code after that we will finish Okay, this is a code. Uh, we include the library we must use, PID v one uh, The programming not that, uh, not that difficult because you you use we use library. So we just download the library and then make some change. So we. Uh, we never write the library some professional guys we will write them so we use this prof uh, this uh, library you can download from github and include it with your arduino id then uh, for liquid crystal use this pin okay then define your parameter you use okay and look zero for uh, photoresistor 
and A1 for potentiometer for set point and A3 for P, A4 for I, A5 for D and there is the light level we defined as double and the float value for P and I and D and double for set point input output okay then the PID the PID must have input output set point PID and uh, the direct so uh, if you ask about this you can check the PID library this library there is main example so uh, after that define constant for sample rate and serial ping and now every single code have a comment you can read the comment and figure out what's happening okay then in the setup we configure the input and output and configure the uh, my PID okay there is a mapping for input mapping for potentiometer mapping for P and I and D like a scaling then we use mode automatic for running our PID turn on the PID control okay then we use set things P and I and D uh, sorry set tunings okay after that in the loop we use set point and map we use P and I and D also map from uh, 0 to 100 and you you can you can use in another way you can divide them by 100 I will show you another way I will pause the video uh, okay and then we continue for another way for mapping okay there is another way for void loop I just divide directly by 100 okay so 1000 to 4 to 3 will divide by 100 or you can use the map same same also void setup I divide okay you can divide with 100 no problem so in this case it's enough from 0 to uh, 11 or 12 because I don't need some large scale if you use this PID in another project you must change this divide so after I get P and I and D from the potentiometer I set them in the set tuning for P and I and D then uh, I use this uh, instruction compute for calculation the PID output then analog write to LED okay this is for uh, for LCD to show the set point P uh, input I output okay and D okay uh, this is for inputting by using serial you can click on the serial monitor and put the value okay but we use set uh, set tuning uh, this is already commented we use set tuning directly for potentiometer if you don't have potentiometer you can try this one maybe it's work then some uh, declaration for new value just equalizing the variable so that's it that's 
we uh, have I hope you understand the whole project and you can uh, work on it and thank you